enantioselective epoxidation. Recall that when we form a chiral epoxide, it's going to produce a racemic mixture. And that is just telling us we have an equal amount of both enantiomers. We saw this with both of these epoxidation reactions. But what if we don't want both enantiomers? We just want one enantiomer. That's where enantioselective epoxidation comes in. This is a reaction that still turns an alkene into an epoxide. However, it's now favoring just one of our enantiomers. It's doing this by using a chiral catalyst or reagent. Now you're going to hear this described as it's going to form the epoxide on the top face or top plane of our alkene and the bottom face or plane of our alkene. And you're going to see something like this. Again, top face, bottom face. Okay, that was just the start. The full video and all the things you need to know about this reaction is on Community.